Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Good afternoon, dear students. In this lecture, we will be studying Swaraj Party. What were the circumstances behind which Swaraj Party was started in India? As you know, after the suspension of the non-cooperation movement, Mahatma Gandhi was arrested in 1922 and he was sentenced for two years imprisonment. With the arrest of Mahatma Gandhi in 1922, no definite program of action no definite program of action in the country. In this background, C. R. Das and Motilal Nehru when the country did not have a definite plan of program, C. R. Das and Motilal Nehru, Chitaranjan Das and Motilal Nehru came up with the idea of council entry, council entry instead of boycott of, instead of boycott of forthcoming election. boycott of election in 1923 when the country did not have a definite plan of action Chitaranjan Das and Motilal Nehru came up with the idea that instead of boycotting the forthcoming election slated to be held in 1923 the Indian National Congress should contest the election and enter into the council and shatter the government from within, shatter the government from within, shatter or wreck the government from within. This was the idea put forward by Chitaranjan Das and Motilal. Nehru. They came up with the idea that instead of boycotting elect forthcoming election, Indian National Congress should contest election and come in the legislative council and legislative assembly and wreck the government from within. But this idea attracted several congressmen, but the orthodox Gandhians Orthodox Gandhians, Rajagopal Ajayri, Tajendra Prasad, and Vallabhai Patel, they were posted council entry, while on the other hand C. R. Das and Motilal Nehru expressed the view that Indian National Congress should contest the election and wreck the government from within, while orthodox Gandhians 
they were against contesting election, they continued to argue that to follow Gandhian techniques of non-violent non-cooperation movement. They were called no changes. They demonstrated firm belief in Gandhian techniques of non-violent and non-cooperation movement. While on the other hand, C. R. Das and Motilal Nagaru proposed the idea of council entry and rock the government from within. They came in in on a changes. Two sections emerged within the Indian National Congress. They were changes and non-changes. Non-changes opposed council entry, while the changes argued for council entry and to wreck the government from within. And this matter came up for discussion at the Gaya session of the Indian National Congress held in December 1922. At the Gaya session of the Indian National Congress held at December, held in December 1922, this matter came up for discussion. C. R. Das was then the president. He resigned, resigned from the post of president. He resigned from presidency and his views were outvoted, outvoted. The changes led by Chitaranjan Das and Motilal Nehru did not have majority support in the annual session of the Indian National Congress convened at Gaya in 1922. Being outvoted in the annual session of the Indian National Congress, C. R. Das and Motilal Nehru left. C. R. Das and Motilal Nehru left Indian National Congress and they founded the new party Suraj party on 31st December 1922. Being outvoted in the annual session of the Indian National Congress, Chitaranjan Das and Motilal Nehru left Indian National Congress and they laid the foundation of another party which was Swaraj party. C. R. Das was the president of this party. Chitaranjan Das was the president of this party and Motilal Nehru was the secretary. This new party was founded on 31st December 1922. Performance in the election. Swaraj party contested the election held in 1923 to the legislative assembly legislative assembly and legislative council and the provincial legislature the provincial legislature According to the Government of India Act 1919, according to the Government of India Act, elections were held in 1923 to Central Legislative, Coun Central Legislative Council, Central Legislative Assembly and the Provincial Legislatures. The total number of members in the Central Legislative Assembly was 104, 104 elected members, total number was 145, 145. Now, you have studied 
when we went through the government of India act 1919. Out of the total number of elected members of 1 to 4, 42 seats out of the 1 to 4 seats in the central legislative assembly, so registers won 42 seats. In the provincial legislative assemblies, they got 174 seats out of 633 out of the provincial legislative councils across the country in different provinces the total number of members in different provinces was 633 out of 633 seats the so registers won 174 seats in the central legislative assembly out of the 104 elected seat they got 42 seats the Swarajist emerged as a single largest party, single largest party in legisla Central Legislative Assembly. Central Legislative Assembly they emerged as the single largest party. They also emerged as the single largest party in Bombay and Bengal. In Bombay and Bengal provincial legislature, the Swaraj emerged as the single largest party. Gandhi and Swaraj. In nineteen twenty four, Mahatma Gandhi was released from jail. Release it from jail. Mahatma Gandhi was released from jail in 1924. After the release from jail, he tried to revive. He tried to revive the non cooperation. and boycott programs. Once Mahatma Gandhi released from jail, he tried to revive the boycott and non-cooperation programs of the Indian National Congress. Initially, he opposed it. Initially, Mahatma Gandhi, he opposed the Swarajis. Initially, Mahatma Gandhi opposed the Swarajis, but later he changed his attitude towards the Swarajis. In 1924, the annual session of the Indian National Congress, annual session of Indian National Congress was convened at Belgaum. In the Belgaum session, in the Belgaum session of the Indian National Congress convened in 1924. Mahatma Gandhi was the president of Mahatma Gandhi was made the president of Indian National Congress. At the annual session of the Indian National Congress convened at Belgaum, Mahatma Gandhi was made as the president, Mahatma Gandhi was made the president of the Indian National Congress. It was the only one session wherein Mahatma Gandhi became the president. He became the president of the Indian National Congress only once that it was in 1924 at the Belgaum session of the Indian National Congress Mahatma Gandhi became the president of the Indian National Congress. And in this 
annual session of the Indian National Congress held at Belgaum, a trust was developed. A trust was developed between the Indian National Congress and Swarajis. A trust was developed between the Swarajis and the Indian National Congress at the Belgaum session of the Indian National Congress presided over by Mahatma Gandhi. Now, we are going to analyze the objectives and the aims and the aims of the Swaraj party. In February 1923, in one of the publications of the Swaraj party, it was made clear that speedy attainment of dominion status, speedy attainment of dominion status, speedy attainment of the dominion status and the right to frame a new constitution, right to frame a new constitution. In one of the publications of Swaraj party in February 1923, its objectives were made clear that speedy attainment of dominion status and a right to frame a new constitution. In its manifesto, in its manifesto of Swaraj party came out on 14 October 1923. It was declared that provincial autonomy, provincial autonomy was declared as one of the objectives of Swaraj party in its manifesto published on 14 October 1923. In its manifesto, it was also made clear that to create an impression among the bureaucracy bureaucracy that they derived powers, bureaucracy derived powers from people. In its manifesto published on 14 October 1923, Swaraj party made it clear that it was to create an impression among the bureaucracy that they derive their powers from the people. Now, the constitution, come to the constitution of the Swaraj party. Constitution of Swaraj party, attainment of Swaraj. attainment of Swaraj through all legitimate and feasible means, but in the constitution of the Swaraj party which came out in 1924, in the constitution of the Swaraj party of 1924, it was made clear that attainment of Swaraj through peaceful and legitimate means was the objective of the Swaraj party, but it did not define what kind of Swaraj it stood for. Now, we are going to analyze the program of the Swaraj party. What were the programs of the Swaraj party? 
as you have been told earlier at the welcome session of the Indian National Congress, Swaraj party was made one of the integral part of the Indian National Congress. At the Belgaum session in 1924, Swaraj party integral part of integral part of Indian National Congress. At the Belgaum session of the Indian National Congress presided over by Mahatma Gandhi made Swaraj party as one of the integral part of the Indian National Congress. So, the programs of the Swaraj party was not much different from that of the Indian National Congress. The program of the Swaraj party can be divided into two inside the council and outside the council. Why the two divisions? Because they used to contest elections and became the members of the legislature. What kind of activities did they carry out in the legislature? These come under the category of inside the council. The central legislature and the provincial legislature, what kind of activities these Surajistas done outside the council? First of all, we will be studying inside the council. Inside the council, their programs included refuse supplies and oppose budget, annual financial statement. Within the council, they usually to contest the election of held in 1923, held under the Government of India Act 1919 and they became the members of the central and the provincial legislatures. Inside the council, they refused to supplies and opposed the budget. Secondly, they opposed all proposals they opposed all kinds of proposals for the consolidation for the consolidation of the bureaucracy they opposed all kinds of legislative enactments aiming consolidation of the powers of the bureaucracy. Thirdly, they used to move resolutions, they used to move resolutions and support measures and support measures and bills necessary necessary for the healthy growth of for the healthy growth of national life so inside the council they use it as a refuse supplies and budget opposed all kinds of legislations aiming for the consolidation of the powers of bureaucracy and they moved resolutions and support measures and bills necessary for the healthy growth of national life. Four, supported in the council the constructive program, the constructive program of the Congress. Within the Council, they supported the constructive program of the Indian National Congress. Within the Council, they tried to prevent 
drain of wealth that is transfer of India's wealth from India to Britain. 6. Advanced national advanced national economic national economic industrial and commercial interest of the country commercial interest of the country advanced national economic national economic industry and the commercial interest of the country 7 they try to protect rights of workers including agriculture agricultural and industrial and try to create a healthy relationship between semindars and tenants semindars or landlords and tenants, capitalist and workmen. Within the council, they also try to protect the rights of workers, including agriculture and industrial, try to create a healthy balance between semindars and tenants as well as capital and working men. These were the major activities of the Swarajist within the council. Now moving to outside the council, outside the council, what were the programs? of the Swaraj party outside the council. One, development of communal harmony, development of communal harmony among the Hindus, among the Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs, Brahmins and non Brahmins. They tried to develop communal harmony among the different religious group. Their second program outside the council was removal of untouchability. Removal of untouchability removal of untouchability was the second program the Swarajistas conceived outside the council. Third, raising the status of depressed classes, raising the status of the depressed classes was the third program outside the Council. Four, village organization, village organization, village organization. Five, protecting the rights of labor rights, peasants. and ensure proper place for them, ensure proper place for them in the struggle for Swaraj, in the struggle for Swaraj, outside the council 6, acquisition of economic control. Acquisition of 
economic control of the country acquisition of economic control of the country including including the development of including the development of commerce and industry <coughs> commerce and industry this was the sixth program conceived and practiced by the swarajist seven establishment of establishment of control of nationalis over local and municipal affairs local and municipal affairs this was the seventh program of the swarajist outside the council right carrying out carrying out the constructive program of carrying out the constructive program of indian national congress outside the council what kind of constructive programs they would carry out outside the council like swadeshi swadeshi national education national education and popularization of khadi popularization popularization of khadi these were the constructive programs of the indian national congress given more attention by the swarajis their ninth plan of action was boycott of british goods boycott of british goods next action was federation creation of a creation of a federation of federation of Asiatic countries, Federation of Asiatic countries. It is a core Asian solidarity. It is a core Asian solidarity. It is a core Asian solidarity and cooperation in trade and commerce, and cooperation. in trade and commerce in trade and commerce their 11th plan of action organization organization of agencies organization of agencies for enlisting for enlisting the support of foreign countries the support of foreign countries in the struggle for freedom in the struggle for freedom of mother india struggle for freedom of mother india these were the programs of the swarajist implemented outside the council now we can make an evaluation of these programs and methods adopted by the swarajists 
outside of our observation what kind of observation can you make about the programs of the Swarajist party inside and outside the council. From the programs of the Swarajist party, we can come across with the following observations. One, it was to please all sections of the society all sections of the society, all sections of the society with an eye on election, with an eye on election. In its program, it included the flights of all sections of the society. Why did Swaraj include the flights of all sections of the society in its program? One of the main reasons was that to please all sections of the society to get majority votes in the forthcoming election. Second, no doubt from the program of the Swarajist, we come across with the fact that it tried to pro protect, tried to protect the interest of the interest of peasants and workers why at the same time they also used to protect the interest of landlords on whom they depended for party funds for election. They also protect the interest of landlords for election fund. In one place they used it to protect the interest of persons, while at, other, at the same time they also used it to protect the interest of the landlords on whom the Swaraj is dependent for party funds. Thirdly, creation of the federation of federation of Asiatic countries, Asiatic countries and organization or agencies for foreign support. It was too ambitious to be materialized or realized. It was too ambitious, too ambitious to be realized. So these were the evaluation of the program of the Swarajist party inside and outside the council. They used it to please all sections of the society with an eye on election, try to protect the interest of the persons, but at the same time they also used to protect the interest of the semindars and landlords for party funds. It appears that the creation of the federation of the Asiatic countries and the agencies for enlisting foreign support for the freedom of Mother India appears it to be too ambitious it to be realized during that time. Methods, methods of the Swaraj party. What were the methods of the Swaraj party? One destructive method, destructive method. They adopted two types of methods, one was destructive method and another one came into known as 
constructive method. What were the destructive methods adopted by the Swarajist? One rejection of the rejection of the whatable part of the budget, whatable part of the budget or annual financial statement. They used it to reject the whatable part of the budget. Secondly, rejection of all proposals, rejection of all proposals emanating from bureaucracy, emanating from bureaucracy. These were the destructive methods of the Swarajist. It included rejection of the whatever part of the budget or annual financial statement. They also rejected all proposals emanating from the bureaucracy for the consolidation of the powers of the bureaucracy. Now, we are going to look at the constructive program. Constructive method. What were the constructive methods of the Swaraj party? One, they sought to move resolutions, they sought to move resolutions for the promotion of healthy national life. and displacement of bureaucracy. Displacement of bureaucracy. The constructive program of the Swaraj party mainly included resolution, passage of the resolutions for the promotion of healthy national life and displacement of the bureaucracy. This was the constructive program of the Swaraj party. Now, elections, we have seen earlier that in the elections held in 1923, the Swarajistas won 42 seats out of 104 in central legislative assemblies and in two provinces of Bombay and Bengal. They emerged as the single largest party. In central legislature as well, they emerged as the single largest party in the election held in 1923. But the situation of election held in 1926 was totally different from that of 1923. The elections were held at the regular interval of three years in accordance with the Government of India Act 1919. Since the duration of the Legislative Assembly was Central Legislative Assembly and Provincial Legislative Assembly was three years only. Central Legislative Assembly and the Provincial Legislative Assembly's tenure was only three years. So, the next election was held in 1926 in accordance with the Government of India Act 1919. Elections were held to the Legislative or Central Legislative Assembly and the Provincial Legislatures in 1926 in accordance with the Government of India Act 1919. Except Madras, in Madras only the Swarajistas performed well. Only in Madras, 
the usurative for form well. In other places, the Swarajist party rooted out. As you have been told earlier, in 1923, Swarajist party won 42 seats in central legislature. Central legislature. Central Legislative Assembly. In Central Legislative Assembly in 1923, the Swarajistas got 42 seats out of 104. In 1924, in the Central Legislative Assembly, the number declined to 35. While in 1923, they got 42 seats at the Central Legislative Assembly out of 104 seats and they emerged as the single largest party. While in 1926, 1926, they got only 35 seats in the Central Legislative Assembly. What was the condition in United Provinces? In United Provinces in 1923, they got 31 seats, while it was reduced to 19 in 1926. In United Provinces, the Swarajist party won 31 seats in 1923 but the number got reduced to 19 in 1926. Except in Madras, in all other provincial legislatures, the Swarajist party's performance was very bad. Now, we are looking into the causes of the bad performance. What were the causes of bad performance? 1. Untimely death of Chitaranjan Das. Chitaranjan Das in 1925. Chitaranjan Das, he was the founder, president of the Swaraj party. He died in 1925. It adversely affected the Swaraj party and it could easily be gagged from the election performance of the Swaraj party in 1926. Secondly, denial of tickets to certain Swarajistas resulted they contest the election as independent as independent because of the denial of tickets to contest the election they contested the election as independence it was the second reason behind the bad performance of the Swaraj party in the election held in 19 26. Communalism was the third reason. Communalism adversely affected the election performance of the Swarajist party. Hindu Magasafa. Hindu Magasafa created a feeling among a section of Hindus that their future with the Indian National Congress was at peril. This kind of feeling among the Hindus forced them to vote for 
other parties. What was the fourth reason? The Hindu Mahasabha weakened the position of the Swarajist. The alienation of the Muslims was the fourth reason. The alienation of the Muslims. The Muslims earlier used to contest election from other parties either as the representative of the Indian National Congress or the Sudanist party. Now, Muslim constituencies as it is the seats reserved for the Muslims. You have been told that 30 seats reserved for the Muslims through the Government of India Act 1919. So, the Muslims began to contest from the seats reserved for them rather than contesting election from other parties. So, these were the reasons behind the bad performance of the Swaraj party in the election held in 1926. The decline of the Swaraj party. Next decline of the Swaraj party. What were the reasons behind the decline of the Swaraj party? As you have been told earlier, with the death of Chidaranjan Das, with the death of Chidaranjan Das, it lost a popular leader. So, Raj party lost a popular leader with the death of C. R. Das. It was one of the main reasons behind the decline of the Swaraj party. Secondly, lure of officers, lure of officers. The Swarajists contested the election to wreck the government from within, but once they became the members of the central legislature or the provincial legislature, they began to accept offices of profit. For example, B. J. Patel, he became the president of the assembly. Motilal Nagaru. With Motilal Nagaru as the secretary, Swarajist party was created. Motilal Nagaru became the member of Skin Committee. They stated that they contested the election to wreck the government from within, but they once they became the members of the legislature, they began to accept offices of profit. Vijay Patel became the president of the assembly. Motila Nagaru became one of the members of the skin committee. Third reason was communalism. The Hindu Muslim unity of the non cooperation days was lost. After 1922, communalism became a common view. In 1927, the government announced the appointment of Simon Commission.
with the announcement of the Simon Commission, the Swarajist merged with Indian National Congress. With the announcement of Simon Commission in 1927, the Swarajis merged with the Indian National Congress. Now, the questions from this topic, may the questions from this topic. Question number 1, in which session did Gandhi become the president? Become the president of Indian National Congress. Question number 2, who was the secretary who was the secretary of Swaraj party who was the secretary of Swaraj party question number 3 explain the plan of action the program explain the program of the so, that is outside the council, outside the council. Question number 4, why did Swaraj party decline? An assignment is also given. The works done by Swarajis from nineteen twenty three to nineteen. 26. This is the assignment. You write this assignment in 5 pages. Thank you for attending my class.